Alrighty folks, welcome to Call of Duty Warzone, Modern Warfare's free battle royale mode. That's free for everyone, even for those who haven't purchased MW. And won't you just look at the size of that map, oh my god, I've got so much to show you and talk about in this gameplay. But quick disclosure, as the boys are wondering where we're dropping, Activision paid for my travel and accommodation to Los Angeles to record this gameplay for you. However, I'm under no obligations to share a specific opinion or whatever, these are my genuine feelings towards this mode and what a mode it is. Also, yeah, sadly there's no gameplay audio due to a recording bug, but that's okay because I'm going to be like Mozart composing the background music for you and yeah, this was the first ever Warzone match between YouTubers. Warzone right now consists of trios and it was myself, Syndicate and Sprat and a team, so yeah, that's a very stacked team if I do say so myself. However, we kind of botched the landing next to the stadium. I'm already in full on panic mode as I couldn't find any loot, not a gun, ammo, armour or cash to be found. Wait, armour and cash Marley? Yes, we'll discuss those as we progress through the gameplay. Anything that pops up, like the contract which just appeared on the screen, we'll get to that. Just like how I get to this M13, a pure basic M13, no attachments on it, but yes, guns do spawn in your typical battle royale rarities and they spawn with attachments, there are no attachments to be found and equipped in the wild, gotta make do with what the game throws at you. Here we find an uncommon scar with one attachment and we are being tracked? What the hell is that? Well, an enemy team has activated a bounty contract on us, they will get a shitload of cash if they kill us and they can also see a rough area on the map of where we are, however we can also see our threat level to see how hot or cold they're getting to us. What do you need cash for? Well, you'll see, just have patience, patience- OH SHIT I'M BEING SHOT AT- NO! I'm, I'm, I'm down, I'm, I'm, I'm defo down on the ground- oh wait, don't, don't do this to me, do not do this to me in the first game, I'll not even get a kill, this is embarrassing. Thankfully, Sprat makes his way over to revive me, however, let's see what would happen if I wasn't revived in time here. <sighs> Captured. We're a prisoner of Warzone being sent to the Gulag. This is your one chance to get back in the game after dying. A one versus one scrap to the death versus another captured player. And you can shove that crossbow up your arse, get the shotgun out, get aggressive Marley, put the pressure on. Where are they? Come on, oh I seen them. Boom! 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 I can taste the freedom and we are airdropped back into the game. Really, really cool feature that, but back to this game. I've been revived and I'm trying to call back home and tell my folks I'm alright. Meanwhile, Sprat is pinging enemies outside. Yes, you can easily ping enemies and loot in this game. And I'm just checking out this- Oh shit, oh shit, no, no again! <laughs> I was just about to tell you that MG came from a chest and you'll find chests or crates dotted around the map. Some reward better loot than others and they kind of make a wub 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 sound, but the only sound I'm hearing right now is Sprat's soldier cry out in pain as he gets put down. I'm freaking out. Syndicate's going on the aggressive. I'm being shot up. I don't know which way to face. Pull it together, Marley, for fuck's sake, will you? Syndicate gets Sprat back up and relocate the bounty hunter on our case. He's popped a shield up that he must have found, but I'm about to take it and him out with a grenade that is cooked to perfection. There you are, downed. Gordon Ramsay would be impressed with my cooking skills there. Teammates finish him off for my first Warzone kill. The bounty is averted. Time to loot up from these guys. That's a stim shot there which works just as it does in multiplayer. You may have noticed already health does regenerate like standard COD as well. Stim shots just boost it. There's a gas mask which will reduce the damage you take whilst in the gas. Syndicate is buzzing jumping around whereas I'm changing into some new boxers because I shot myself. Oh, now we're talking, here is a buyback station where you can spend the cash you've earned by looting, killing players and completing contracts. All sorts of goodies in here from armour plates to kill streaks. We're gonna go ahead and buy 5 armour plates for one and a half grand. Now I already know some of you are worrying about the armour, you're having blackout flashbacks, but it's really simple in Warzone. Each armour plate is worth 50 points of protection. You can have 3 on at once, so the max is 150 points. There's no level 1, level 2 and level 3 armour. Each armour plate is the same. 
and once it's gone it can't be repaired you have to equip a brand new one here's one of those contracts i mentioned earlier a scavenger contract worth 2800 bucks and a gas mask each if we locate the three different loot crates on the map in five minutes sign us up for that it does tell you on the map where they are it's not exactly a wild goose chase but it's so cool having little side objectives to do while you're trying to survive but this sounds like something we'll need some wheels for so we hop in the truck get some driving tunes on and oh, oh wait we're pretty much already here <laughs> i believe the crates in the scavenger hunt reward you with much better loot as you can see this one spat out a dead silence again which works just like it does in MP but also an epic bison that is kitted out with four attachments and we're like you take it no you take it my, my gun's fine you need an SMG okay I'll, I'll take it and uh, I will take the dead silence uh, we do a wee road trip towards the stadium and I find 500 cash lying on the ground that's decent but what is even more decent is the loot inside these crates so we move on over to the second part of the scavenger hunt loadout drop coming with that's interesting. All will be explained about that in a second, but in the meantime, I swap out my uncommon scar for a rare blueprint one. Hope it serves me well. However, it maybe won't serve me as well as my sweaty M4 multiplayer class setup with all my perks and equipment. That's right, see that loadout drop? That contains your multiplayer classes. If you get that drop, you can equip your actual full on class. It's the only way to get perks in the game. Perks like EOD and Ghost are invaluable in this mode, but in the meantime, We've only gone and completed the scavenger hunt. <laughs> now, if we can get our loadout, we'll be looking really. Oh, sh we're being shot at again. Battle stations, troops, which for me is on top of two wheelie bins. I back off a bit and let the ultimate marksman that is Sprat take care of business from a distance. He snipes one guy's head off. I get a few pop shots off at this player who's already down and Sprat actually gets a kill with a cluster strike somewhere in the distance. He definitely put his money to good use but anyways the guy I was shooting at bleeds out and we are not out of danger yet as we wrap around a stadium which was quite a hot drop by the way, I, I would remember that. I mount up on this wall and sink a good few shots into an enemy. Meanwhile, Syndicate is pushing up alongside me to kill two players who are loitering around this little tucked in section of the stadium trying to use fake tickets or something. Either way, they weren't getting into the match, not with all this loot on them, some of which I'll gladly collect and like the, the two grand they dropped in. Oh by the way, stuff like cash and ammo is auto collected as you run over it which is really handy but fuck's sake, heading the game Marley, another enemy has to be dead with syndicate goes down but like two rider die homies mean sprat pounce on this fool suffocate them with the pressure and finish them off full squad wiped and that counted as our second kill even though we didn't get the down as, as far as i can tell that the kill no matter who gets the down or execution goes to whoever did the most damage i, I might be wrong in that but anyways sprat gets syndicate back to his feet and folks it's time to go shopping with nine grand i can get any of the big boy purchases like a, a uav a self-revive kit which is pretty self-explanatory but incredibly useful but you'll also notice squad buyback at four and a half grand if say syndicate had died there and lost his 1v1 in the gulag i could spend 4500 to get him back in the game he would drop in with just a pistol i think but he'd be back in the action so it's important you spend your cash wisely and always be on the hunt for some speaking of hunting we were apparently being hunted by a wee sneaky devil hiding next to <laughs> this bridge they actually down syndicate but i think they traded because the enemy was down as well but in any case I bash their head in and get syndicate back up. I was also credited with this kill which contradicts what I said earlier, the, the final game will most likely be more consistent and clear with that. The action picks up again, Sprat is locked in a sniper battle, I send a cluster strike over to that loadout drop which I think players are trying to get and shortly after I pick off this guy making a run for it, solid controlled shots there from your boy Marley. But the, the cluster strike is dropping in the background, not doing much damage but most likely wetting some pants over there <laughs> in that direction. But my, my cluster doesn't actually need to do anything when Sprat is connecting with two domes back to back. What a sniper this guy is by the way. Syndicate gets a kill whilst myself and Sprat pick off this straggler who's been chased by the gas and with less than 30 players left, us playing like an absolute unit, we are starting to believe. However, we have to cross this open area to get to the next circle. It's risky but gotta be done and whilst we're on the move, I want to say if you're new here and been enjoying this video and want to see more Warzone and Modern Warfare videos, please do hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to join the notification squad like the two legends on your screen have done. 
top 10 scenario now folks. Syndicate was thirsty for blood and takes out this player who may have shot us all in the back, so well played there and well played to Sprat who popped a UAV too, really good timing on that one and well played to me for providing moral support as well. If only my rock climbing skills were as good as my chat, I'd be up this fucking wall in no time. Thankfully Sprat is providing some covering fire as I struggle to get up in the high ground. I gotta leave those folk behind in the gas is, come on, just fucking climb up this thing please. I have located my loadout. I could have my sweaty class right now, however, shots are coming in from an unknown location. I don't know if it's safe to grab my loadout. This is the first ever match. I don't know how long it takes or what to expect. The guys make a push forward because the circle is gonna close in and hurt us big time if we don't make a move but I'm thinking this scar isn't great it's I, I got I've got to go back guys go on without me for now I make the incredibly dangerous decision to turn back and try to collect my load out which was actually really quick and simple to do I don't know what the hell I was so worried about give me my try hard M4 class with all my perks please thank you best decision I ever made or was it? I sprint to catch up with the guys, they're locked in a fire fight with the two last players, I'm trying to make a play, Syndicate takes some shots and goes down, I gotta play this so smart, I peek the crest of the hill and get some shots on these guys who are locked behind this rock, so I whip out the RPG and fire a fantastic shot into the tree in front of me, Sprat pushes up, gets a snipe but he gets put down himself, meanwhile it's, it's all up to me, it's a 1v1 for the win, I've got no cover but I know they're hurt, it's now or never Marley, it comes down to this gun fight! Yes! Wait, have have we won? What the fuck? What what do I do? Do, do I revive? What? I, 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 help, please! Do I finish them? What the hell do I do? Myself, Syndicate and Sprat won the first ever Warzone Battle Royale match. There's only ever one first match and what a feeling that was to win it. GG's to everyone including Korean Savage who was actually the guy I killed to win the game. He's an incredible player too so I was really chuffed with that. Although even if he did manage to kill me, Syndicate had actually popped a self revive while I was fighting him. So we would have been okay anyways but how cool was that folks? I am so buzzing for Warzone. Which which releases tomorrow free for everyone. Please do leave as many likes on the video as possible. I'm not even setting a goal, just letting you guys go crazy on it and let me know in the comments what you think of Warzone and will you be dropping in tomorrow. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.